So, Owen, yeah. here's the, the front of the SAS page. So pretty much it talks about what the site's about, of course. I haven't finished it, but what is called hyperlocal data for modern enterprises. So it's designed to gather. You saw the, 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 the initial things that I had with the spreadsheet and how much data I was collecting and mm -hmm. how I was using it with Page Generator Pro. Mm -hmm. right, so this pretty much is going to describe that on my part. So here's the login. It's changed a lot since you last saw it. Let me get her inhaler. Meek, you all right? Okay. So here is the basic data explorer. Mm -hmm. um, you come in and you select the state. I only work on two states right now, Delaware and Pennsylvania, but I'm doing more in Delaware because I have a client I'm working on. Okay. So come in here in a particular county. If I want to do all the counties, I can. Right now, I'm just doing one county because I'm testing. And um, the testing's almost over. I'm just about done. Here in Newark, I'll do a search. So here's all the records that I've collected for that particular county thus far. I mean, for that particular city. I'm, I'm not even a city. A town. Yeah, town or city. That's how many neighborhoods is in this town of Newark in, in the county of Newcastle in, a, in the state of Delaware. So it's 12 neighborhoods in this town. Mm -hmm. So in that town, I pulled all the strategic data about income, um, housing, school rating, home value, rent, zip codes, school district, safety, fire department, health department, walking distance, walking time, um, school ratings, hospital distance, how long it takes to tra tra um, travel, local parks, local businesses, local restaurants. I'm pulling from um, Google from Google um, GP, GPP maps. Um, then it creates a meta title, meta description, H1, a slug, local description. It puts in a local description in HTML that when it goes into Page Generator Pro, it's already pre-formatted. It creates a schema for the location as well. And I have the, my agents running to determine whether or not it pulled enough information. If it only pulls 90% of the information, it's not calculated in any export. So I'm looking for anywhere from 90 and above. As you can see, this one only had 97, so it missed a piece of data that I couldn't find, which is fine. I'm looking for an accuracy of 90. I okay. can come in 